It's been a blast. I've had a lot of fun hanging out with Petey, but fucking Minar is just, I can't stand the guy. Take time today, it's not an easy game. Make it to be seen if you say so. It's not easy, baby. Crossing lines, don't let me feel this way. First day of practice today went pretty well. Did five runs, but just was ripping from the get go, really. Following Steve and Greg, and just had a good, fun riding session, really. But speed was there too, so just loving it. Top woods, I was just riding down there on the line. I didn't even drop flat, and just something nicked my tire. But I managed to get in the woods, and I have no clue what it was. So, didn't see anything. I've been in the same line all week. Points are dwindling. <laughs> so, on a better note, tomorrow's another day, and uh, hopefully, we'll keep the air in the tires and uh, have a good run and uh, keep that number one plate. I'm gonna go out tomorrow and just do my best. That's you know, I'm not going to slow down for flats. Obviously, I'm going to be cautious in certain areas, but at the end of the day, I need to get as many points as I can tomorrow. Um, today sucked. It took up nothing, so um, whatever I can take on tomorrow will be, will, you know, birds have more points than nothing. So I've got to really go hard tomorrow. Today, out there, is race day. <clears throat> Just about to go up for some practice, do a couple of practice runs. Then we've got finals this afternoon. pretty wet up there, but it's not like claggy mud, it's just hard fight with grease on top. I was just, just hating it, I was like, fuck this, I'm just going to put some dry tyres on. Just whacked some dries on, went up there, got sideways, felt a lot more comfortable, just because they're really predictable and I know what we're going to do and when we're going to do it. I can't ride that uh, uh, just where it comes under the lift and uh, just came through a, a patch of mud that was kind of fresh and front wheel washed and down I went at our speed. I got up pretty quick but um, my glove was half off so I had to like free wheel just take it off quick and carry on. I couldn't get my goggles straight so they were my eyes the whole way down but uh, it's not a good weekend. mistakes I made at the top cost me a lot and I ended up 18th which is really frustrating because after qualifying 10th with a steadyish run I knew I had plenty in the bag and I was well up for the top 10 and I'm just devastated. Across the line, I was pretty unhappy about the run. Actually, I felt real slow up top and just sticking in corners, not carrying speed good, slipping all over the place. So, a little bit off balance and stuff. And uh, I focused pretty hard in practice this morning to make sure I went fast through the bottom woods and carried speed down the bottom, which felt I got really good. 
Yeah, Greg's obviously pissed off. It's, it's a little bit weird this season. The top four guys have all had a bad luck race, and uh, it was Greg's turn today, so we'll see how it goes next week. Steve Pete's my hero. 30 some years old. What is he, 39 now, I think? Going a little bit, losing a little bit of, you know. Still winning. And I am proud of him. Still hauls ass. Never left the sport and still doing well. Well, it's good for Steve, you know, he had a good weekend. It would have been nice to go into um, Schladming again with the points lead, but it's not going to happen, so he's going to have to keep fighting back for it.